Hey guys, I'm going to show you pretty quick how to add um, products to your business pages. It's really nice because then you don't have to post a link on, in the caption. And so it tends to get seen a little better, I feel like. So I'm going to open up my browser. I'm on Facebook in a browser. It, you can't do it from the app. Click home. Let me go to my page. Pop up here. Page. Click. Okay. I'm on my iPad, so it should look like it does on your computer, but if it doesn't, I apologize. So, um, what you're going to do is on settings, where it says uh, edit page, oops, sorry, edit page, make it, you can do any sort of template, just make sure under here on tabs, you've added the shop tab. You do that down here with add a tab. It's going to ask you to set the shop type. Make sure you set it as one where you can have the products have URLs and you're not hosting the product on Facebook. You're actually having them sent to a different URL. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you that screen because when you add the shop tab and set and you go to your shop the first time, it's going to ask you to set it up. If you set it up wrong, like when you're creating a item and it doesn't ask you for a link, you set it up wrong. And if you do that, go ahead and go delete the tab out and then re-add it and set it up the other way. I'm sorry if that's confusing. I don't know how better to explain it. I apologize. And then you just go to your page after you've set up your shop tab. Click on your shop tab. And you can actually create your products. You see add product, things like that. You can actually make collections too, which is nice. I made one collection called Trending Today, and as my customers order new things, I'm trying to add them here so I can show people what my customers are into right now. Um, the nice thing is your friends can subscribe, so as you add new products here, it will alert them. You can share just the shop, which is cool, or you can share just a collection. So one thing you can do with this, which is really cool, is you can have people who, um, want to set up wedding registries and you could share the collection which is kind of fun because you could just make, basically make a collection for just them um, or any sort of registry for any reason so you can add the products it doesn't matter you could add it here or in all products it doesn't really matter and click add the product you'll get a place where you can add the photo the name of the product the price of it you can tell them if it's on sale so if you're putting the warmer of the month up you can put the regular price and then put the on sale and it'll ask you for the sale price which will make it look really cool in the preview. Your description and then the checkout URL. If you don't see checkout URL, delete your shop tab and set it up the opposite way you set it up the first time to make sure that it has a checkout URL. Otherwise, it's gonna ask you for inventory information and that's just not fun because we don't have to worry about that. So, and then hit save after you set that up. So now that that's all set up, um, you can go to my posts and you'll see where I have this cute picture of the chameleon and I'm telling people about him and if you click on him since I this is my page I have the option to tag products so I already tagged the chameleon and and I already added him but I'll show you what it looks like when I tap you can tap and it'll let you choose a product so that's how that works um I'm going to close out of that because now I'm just going to show you what happens when I click it. Click, Carl, and look. It's like, oh look, it's a cute little chameleon. And it pops this up. Oops, crud. Sorry. Let's go back. Okay. Check out on website. This will take you to... And then it takes you directly to his page. So I can add a scent pack. Pretty cool, right? Um... Yeah, so I'm kind of obsessed. Rightfully so, right? Bye, guys.